someone said, speak softly and carry a big stick, most poets don't have big sticks. Actually, a few do. <laughs> so words got to be loud. Words got to be loud. Loud. Words are loud. So they can clearly and distinctly hear you. Upset the apple card. Let's go. The story I always heard was that the Two Mile Hill got its name on account of how it's, well, it's two miles long, right? From the highway cutoff right to Main Street, downtown. But then just recently, some guy cornered me at a happy hour at the Capitol Hotel in the back room there to inform me that actually, no, no, no. Two Mile Hill got its name because although it's only one mile long going down, it's just like it feels like two going back up, right? <laughs> Who knows the real story, though? Because the guy that told me that last bit, well, frankly, he was drunk at the time. Plus, almost everyone in his family has been known to be playing a long game with a short hand, as my grandmother would say. I would be the third generation to live here. Yeah, we farm beef most of the time. I've kind of really gone to the arts a lot. I like English and I like writing. Not into the poetry that much, though. Well, I'm not sure what's going to happen at that boot camp for procrastinators one. It sounds a little vicious. You can sit down anytime you want and write about anything you want. Why is it the last thing we always do? I do it too. I'm no better than you guys. I'll tell you right now, I'm the king of procrastination. It's a bloody good thing I can't hold down a day job because if I ever did hold down a day job, I'd be lazy and I wouldn't get any writing done. We wouldn't be here. Okay, so it's a, it's a good thing that I'm, like by all other ways, kind of unemployable. Maybe get the glottis into it a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Very nice. Now, um, what I'm finding is that that borders on the sexual. I feel as though a big strong wind has blown all the way through me. And I'm shaken by it and I'm delighted and very inspired. Slow mo on the flow won't know. Silk dress cover his hand. Sing a man done one from the mic stand. Scream furious footsteps replace the band. Someone escapes in the fury, gun in their hand. And another set of tears will flow in this land. And I wonder if my man slow mo will ever understand. The memories we are amassing will stand as testament that somehow we've bent minds around the concept that we see others within ourselves, that self-knowledge can't be found on bookshelves. So who we are has no bearing on how we appear. Look directly into every mirror. Realize our reflection is the first sentence to a story. And our story starts, we were here. How did you get into this? Where, where did it all start? I guess it started in in Penticton, I was, uh, me and my friend uh, ran a poetry reading. We started, because there was nothing happening there, a very small town, wasn't much going on. Cool. What, what would you say to them about how to get involved with the scene or what, what to do if they were interested in? Find out who's doing what, get involved in the art scene and see, you know, what's out there. If no, one's, no one else is doing it, might as well just start it up. That's what me and my friend did, right? It wasn't there, so we needed some kind of outlet. Uh, my father is the horse that pulls the plow, no matter how many rocks are in the way. My mother is the cat that curls up next to you and purrs at just the right times. My brother is the fly that buzzes around your head, no matter how many times you swat at it. I am none of these. I am the water that wants to jump the cliff, but has to steal itself first and then can't believe how short it actually was. So thank you. So words got to be loud. Words got to be loud. Loud. Words are loud.